Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to cook a breakfast made for a gamer. You see, gamers get this bad reputation of eating crappy food. Doritos, Mountain Dew, having Cheeto fingers. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this easy to make breakfast that is both nutritious and will improve your gaming 1000%. Put down the Pop-Tart, trash the toaster strudel, drop the donut, get rid of the granola. Wait, granola is actually good for you, don't, don't get rid of that. But first we have to move some of these lovely decorations. It is October and Cass has fallified the entire house. I love her, she's great. But although these look great, they have to go for this video. So, there we go. I'm gonna show you guys how to make the perfect scrambled egg. I've known how to make scrambled eggs for a long time, but only recently have I learned how to make them the perfect way, the gamer way. We're gonna focus on the eggs, but we are gonna get a couple other things to make a more complete breakfast. Also, don't worry, Batman's got security duty. <laughs> Bring out the ingredients. Today we're gonna to be working with Eggs, shredded cheese, salt and pepper. On the side, we're gonna have sausage links and a couple slices of bread for toast. Now let's get all the instruments we're gonna to use to prepare our gamer breakfast. You're gonna need your pan to cook your eggs, a bowl to keep your eggs in, or to stir up your eggs, a wooden spatula thing to scramble your eggs. So along with your stovetop and your toaster, this is all you're gonna need. It's time to start the preparation. So I'm using four eggs because I really like eggs. And we're gonna be not only making scrambled eggs, but we're gonna put them in a sandwich. That's what the toast is for. So the first thing we're gonna do is crack these eggs. I like to put a piece of paper towel down and crack them directly on the countertop. Also, when you crack them on the edge of a bowl or a cup or something like that, sometimes the shells can get pushed into the egg and then you have to dig it out afterwards. Which reminds me, make sure you're using good hygiene. Wash your hands before doing any of this. Here we go, four eggs. The paper towel is also nice for easy cleanup. Now we're gonna take our fork and we're gonna stir these up really well. To be honest, I'm not sure if this is the scrambling part or the part where we cook them in the pan is the scrambling part that makes them scrambled eggs. Is this not entertaining enough for you? Hey Google, let's start a rave. You want to look something close to this where it's pretty much all yellow. We're not gonna add anything to these eggs just yet. We're gonna move over to the stove top and start cooking. All right, so we have all our ingredients right here ready to go. Now, once you start cooking, it goes very fast. So you wanna prepare before you put the eggs onto your pan, which means if you chose to use cheese, Open it up now. If you have any caps on your salt or pepper, take those off and have your spatula handy. So pretty much what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the pan on one of our burners. Make sure you use the right size burner. If you're using a bigger pan, use the bigger burner. You can choose to crank it up all the way to high, but you'll have to work faster so that you don't burn your eggs. I like to put it at medium to medium high. Let the pan warm up a little bit first, then you're gonna add your eggs. You may want to also pour your shredded cheese into a cup first. That way when you go to add it to the eggs, it won't get stuck in the bag. And this way you can control how much shredded cheese comes out. So right before you add your eggs to the pan, that's when you wanna add your salt and pepper. Also make sure that you have another plate ready to put your eggs on after they're done cooking. All right, the pan is warmed up a little bit and now we're gonna add our eggs. Right after you add your eggs, you have to keep moving them in the pan the entire time. That is the secret to perfect eggs. So here we go. Once you see the eggs start to harden, that's when you wanna add your cheese. Be careful to add them directly to the eggs and try not to get them on the pan. It's gonna be hard to clean later. Then just keep stirring. I'll just add them to the plate.
turn off your burner, and you're all set. And here we have perfectly cooked eggs. It's nice to leave a little bit of shine on them. If you see any brown on the eggs, that means they are burnt. If you see no brown and some shine, you did it exactly right. And here we have the finished product. So you may be asking, Patton, this seems like just a regular breakfast. How is this a breakfast for gamers? You know what's in eggs? Protein. Protein helps build muscles. Finger muscles. You know what's in cheese? Calcium helps build bones. Finger bones. Salt and pepper tastes good. Bread has carbohydrates, lets your brain work well. You know what you need to play video games? Your brain. This whole time you thought my fingers were fat? Ha! Huh. No. This is muscle. This is 30 plus years of old school gaming and eating eggs. Enjoy. This is the part of the video where I thank those users who support the channel through Patreon. Eric Cologne, Jordy Alex, William Wind, Mike Muniz, Sam Torres, Yaroslav Orudzov, Den Cardoso, Andre G, and Batman.